All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of solving a linear system in three variables. And we're using the technique of elimination by addition here. So in this example, uh, we've got the system x plus 2y plus z equals 12, 2x minus 2y minus z equals negative 6, and x plus 2y minus z equals 2. Um, again, I think this one's going to be a little nice because notice if we, for example, take the first uh, two, two equations, um, so x plus 2y plus z equals 12. Again, what I want to do is add them up and hopefully some of the variables are going to cancel out. But notice in this case, um, things are actually already pretty nicely set up so that if we add everything, you know, the, the, the columns together, 1x plus 2x will just give us 3x. Notice the y's would cancel out. 2y, uh, positive 2y minus 2y is 0y. Uh, positive z minus z is 0z. And then 12 minus 6 will leave us with positive 6. Then if we divide both sides by 3, um, we simply get our value of x equals 2. So, uh, so that to me seems like a good thing. Um, now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get uh, one of my equations that um, will hopefully involve either x and z or just uh, x and y because then I can plug in my x value and figure out the other one. So let's see here, which, uh, which ones could we use? I think if we use uh, I think if we use the first one, my first equation, and my third equation, it looks like to me there the z's would cancel out. So I'm going to use x plus 2y plus z equals 12. And then I'm going to use my third equation, x plus 2y minus z equals 2. And again, I'm just going to add these two, uh, these two equations together. Well, 1x plus 1x would be 2x. 2y plus 2y would be 4y. Notice the z's have canceled out. Positive z minus z will be 0z. And then we have uh, 12 plus 2, which is going to be 14. And at this point, I'm just going to simply plug in my x value of 2. So we'll have 2 times 2 plus 4y equals 14. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. If we subtract that from both sides, if we subtract 4 from both sides, we'll have 0 um, over here on the left, or excuse me, we'll have 10 over here on the right side. Um, so we get rid of our 4 on the left, so we just have 0 plus 4y equals 10. If we divide both sides by 4, we'll get our y value of 10 over 4, or equivalently, if we reduce, we'll get 5 halves. Okay, well now I know my x, now I know my y. All I have to do is just take one of my equations and solve for z. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter which one we use. I think I'll use, I'll just pick on the third one again here. So we've got x plus 2y minus z equals 2. Well, okay, we knew our x value, we figured that out was positive 2, so I'm going to plug that in. Uh, we figured out our y value over here to be 5 halves, so I'm going to plug that in as well. Minus z equals 2. Uh, well, let's see, the 2 and the 2 will cancel in the middle, so really we're just left with 2 plus 5, which would be 7. Minus z equals 2. And we can add z to the right side and subtract 2 from the left side. That would give us 7 minus 2 or z equals 5. So in summary it says our solution we figured out our x value had to be 2 we uh, decided our y value had to be 5 halves and we found out that our z value has to be positive 5. 